And we're back again with more product from Yu-Gi-Oh! Worlds 2019. This time it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Fist of the Gadgets. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. So first off, um, we I don't think we've posted the video yet, but we'll, we have an interview with Konami where we actually talk quite a bit about some of the Fire Fist cards inside of here. And just, it's an interview in general with a Konami game developer, a trading card game developer. So uh, very interesting video coming out maybe, maybe two or three videos after this one. But what we already have up is the Gold Sarcophagus tin. Freaking beautiful product, you guys. Even Konami themselves have said this is definitely one of the best products we've ever made. The promos in there are insane. You have Exodia all the way to the God cards. Um, you have Raigeki, Monster Reborn. Uh, it's just insanity. Insanity. So uh, definitely one of my most favorite items, Konami products that Konami's ever made. Um, quick thought, though, you guys. Uh, this is a three-box opening, and the third box we are giving away! So there is a giveaway for this video, just like with the Gold Sarcophagus 10 video. Um, if you guys want to... Get this free box. All that you guys need to do is give this video a thumbs up and post in the comments below, guys, your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm going to call it a expansion set. So expansion sets are all foil sets, you guys. Um, also, you can call the set a deck builder set. And that's what Konami, when I was talking to the game developers, they call it. A deck builder set or expansion set. But we both agree that the 100 card sets are core sets. But anyways, what is your favorite all foil set and why? Post in the comments below, you guys. So, expansion set, deck builder set, however you want to call it. Um, so, yes, giveaway for a booster box. We got that going on. We have some of the cards in here. Again, no idea on the values, you guys. We are a couple weeks ahead of the release date. Uh, definitely very exciting. Let's get straight into the video. Here we go, you guys. Fire Fist of Fury. So, uh, I actually don't... I haven't done any research on the cards inside here. I know we're mixing with a couple different cards. I believe it's Genix support uh, for the machines. Maybe gadgets, I don't know. Um, also, you guys, you might hear a little bit of construction. That is actually the Yu-Gi-Oh! Or Yu-Gi-Oh! Simply Unlucky Game Shop um, being constructed. So, if we're going to have any construction noise, I feel like that's the kind of noise we want to have. Fist of the Gadgets. First pack here. First time opening this set. First card is Subterror Fiendus. Nice Subterror cards. Um, Cynet Optimization. Uh, by the way, you guys, with these deck builders slash expansion sets, um, it's usually uh, half or majority reprints. Uh, I just usually, I'm just gonna say half and half for now, but yeah, uh, with reprints and then cards that are new to the game. So obviously, Cynet optimization. I'm actually not even sure on a lot of these off the top of my head, but green gadget, of course, you're seeing right there. Definitely seen that bad boy before as a super rare. Silver gadget is in here, and nice, our first Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. It's elephants. And uh, I personally, you know, like uh, cards that have come out, like the Mayakashis and whatnot, you know, those are new concepts, new uh, cards. Um, but with a set like this, when they print an old archetype and a whole bunch of new support for it, that really makes me excited. Um, and, you know, I've, they've done similar things with like Black Wings and soon to be Gladiator Beast. Um, Six Samurais, you know, one of my favorite decks overall. But Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, you guys, this is really some cool stuff they've done with this set. And again, I, I can't really give you guys the, the breakdown like the Konami game developer did because he like literally created some of these cards. So very cool. Elephant, you guys. And um, I want to talk about the effects a little bit. This is send a fire formation spell, the special summon fire fist monster from your hand. And then uh, target one fire formation spell in your grave, shuffle it into the deck. Then you can add a level five or higher fire fist monster from your deck to your hand. So this is the searcher and special summon from the hand. So very cool. Elephant. Um, the game developer said that his favorite card in the set was Panda. Um, he really liked creating a level 5 Fire Fist monster. That was really cool. Elphase. I do not know this card. Cybers card. Yellow Gadget. Red Gadget. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon as a super rare. Archfiend's Manifestation. Um, wow. All I can say is wow on these freaking cards for Summon Skull. Um, so we're going to take our time through this first box, as, as usual, Simple and Lucky Videos, and check out some of the effects of these new cards. Archfiend's Manifestation. Summon Skull plus a Dark Monster to make this guy. Card's name becomes Summon Skull in the field, a butt is still treated as an Archfiend card. All Summon Skull you control gain 500 attack. If this Fusion su Summon card you control is sent to the grave by an opponent's card, special Summon Summon Skull from your hand deck or grave. Wow. So you're basically creating like a Summon Skull army. This is going to be so cool. What, what's next, you guys? I love when they bring back the old cards. This is so cool. 
that makes us classic like kind of casual players really really enjoy the game like i get the thunder dragon deck was like one of the best decks you guys but like still to see thunder dragons come back as a deck was so cool um okay talk back lancer brotherhood of firefist gorilla bring back your ultimate rare gorillas guys uh brother firefist cardinal nice uh tiger king is back and fire formation Ig ingen and so man talking with the konami game developer you guys this was insane they decided to go ahead and create continuous fire formation cards for is it this is the fusion summoning for fusion summoning so a continuous spell polymerization and then a continuous spell uh ritual fusion for the fire formation cards absolutely great i would have done the same thing when i was talking i was like that's a good idea and he's like i know um it was great so anyways when this card is activated you can fusion summon one beast warrior monster fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion materials and then if it's sent for the field and traps target a fire fist monster in the grave add it to your hand absolutely amazing you guys two effects as always love that and it's a fire, fire formation card so it works with all the different fire fist monsters um and then i was told it could be good in other beast warrior decks as well especially ones that are splashing fire fist cards um luna lights luna lights luna lights all right you guys next pack here we go we got bear l phase gorilla bear and gorilla amphor mage amor phage archfiend's awakening a ritual summon skull it's oh man this is so cool contract with the abyss for this ritual summon card Summon skull in the field. Treat as Archfiend. Cannot be destroyed by battle except by battle with ritual monster. Cannot be destroyed by monster effects except ritual monsters. It's sent to the grave by an opponent's card. You can special summon summon skull from your hand, deck, or grave. Wow. So they always replace themselves. That's so cool. Archfiend's Awakening. Archfiend's Manifestation. So basically, Archfiend's revolved around summon skull. Um, Chronograph. Sorcerer. Kotaka. Dynamite. Draco Fighter. Cyanet Conflict. Interesting. Archfiend's Call. Are we seriously going to get a Fusion Summon Skull, a Ritual Summon Skull, and then a Synchro Summon Skull? This is so cool. This is so cool. All right, here we go. If we can get it to, to kind of load there. Archfiend's Call. One tuner, one non tuner. This card's name becomes Summon Skull in the field, but treat it as Archfiend card. Opponent cannot target any Summon Skull monster you control with card effects. If the Synchro Summon card you control is sent to the Great Special Summon. Oh my gosh. Those pictures are so sweet. Um, also from Worlds, we're gonna bring them out. Um, I'm not sure which card's gonna end up being the more valuable summon skull. As of right now, again, there is no values on these cards. We can all guess though. Maybe we'll make some guesses with some prices uh, as we post this video. I would imagine since the fusion has most of the effects, that could be the more valuable one. But seeing a six star synchro monster with 2,500 attack that can't be, um, cannot target any summon skull you control with card effects that seems pretty insane because that's just a card that can't be targeted with card effects so we'll see though of course more fire fist cards coming i think the fire fist will probably end up being the most valuable cards in the set especially cards like fire formation ignan ingen um we'll kind of see though what konami does with the ratios because the ratios do end up predicting the card prices quite often spirit as a super very nice swap cleric Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Ram. This is your new three star. Secret Rare Fire Fist. This is your four star. And then Ram is uh, discard a card, target a fire formation spell or trap you control. Set one fire formation spell or trap with a different name directly from the deck. And then if this special summoned by the effect of Fire Fist Monsters, set a fire formation spell or trap from your deck. Oh my gosh. So this is a way of getting the fire formation cards. You're definitely going to want to play that guy. And just a few packs left on the right side here. Again, taking our time with the first box. Um, we got Yoko. Green, Cyanide Conflict. A Ignis Heat, the true Draco Slayer, as a secret rare inside of here. Um, and then you are going back to your classic secret rare with this set. If I didn't mention that already. Prismatic secret rare, of course, being used for the tins. Uh, Konami did mention that this will be the normal secret rare. And then they'll use the prismatic secret rare maybe for uh, special sets. Or just when Konami really, really likes the set. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, Konami's got to like all their sets, but uh, I think maybe the gold circuits in there just kind of like, you know, let's just, let's just make this beautiful. Okay. More Draco Slayers. Command Dynamo. And more Phage. Tenki as a secret rare. Beautiful. I believe it was printed as a secret. Um, can't think of all the printings off the top of my head. I know it was like super common ultimate. 
So Ultimate Tenki, though, you guys, definitely want to pick those up if you have not already, um, if you plan to be a Fire Fist user. I think the price has probably shot up again. I know originally it was around 20 going to 30 to 40 I love all these Link cards, you guys. Lots of Link cards in here. Um, the Liger here. Cybers Links. The Moving Battery. I believe this is a Gadget card. Gorilla. Archfiend's Call again. And so... Packs left. Um, Tensu. Oh, phase. Sub tears. Fire formation. Dome. All right. Talked a lot about this bad boy as well. When activated, ritual summon a beast warrior. Ritual monster. So, absolutely crazy. Here is your fire formation ritual card. Um, if this face of card summoned from the field is under the grave, target a fire fist monster in your grave. Special summon it. So, this one's special summon. Man. Absolutely crazy, and they did make a new ritual by this monster. I love this world's playmat as well, you guys. Crazy. Spirit. Um, this is the new... So when I asked the Konami dev about this, this was basically the like, well, basic, all good decks now have a pretty crazy field spell. So here's one for Fire Fist. <laughs> Fire Fortress, atop Liang Peak. So here is your field spell. For the fire formation cards and it has actually a very similar uh, feeling to it to uh, gateway of the six Amra. so it says here uh, each time fire fist monster is normal or special place a fire counter on this card once per turn remove fire counters to activate one of these effects uh, two for if a beast warrior attacks this turn opponent cannot activate effects until the end of the damage step uh, six add a beast warrior monster from your deck to your hand ten special summon a beast warrior monster from your deck or extra deck ignoring summoning conditions i remember when i was talking to konami they were just kind of like yeah we just wanted to throw a 10 in there from your extra deck ignoring summoning conditions that's insanity all right you guys the last pack on the right here prohibit snake this uh it's so hard for the uh, camera to kind of get this picture going here stay in focus because of the dragon over here it loves the dragon and Fire Formation 10 key again. Nice. All right, you guys. Left side. Here we go. Um, again, we're probably going to be speeding up as we go through these boxes, trying to see more of these secret rares. Uh, maybe an idea of what's short printed. Maybe not. Ignis Heat again. Draco Warrior. Getting those Draco Slayers with the Amorphages. Uh, Subterra Final Battle is a super. Sweet. Uh, Brother of the Fire Fist, Panda. Oh, baby, here we go. So here's Panda. First off, very cool. Love it. Love the Panda. And this is a five-star Brotherhood Fire Fist monster. If you activate a Fire Formation Spell or Trap, um, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you can special summon a Fire, Fire Fist monster from your grave. Absolutely crazy. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except Fire Monsters. If a Fire Fist monster you control will be destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can send one face-up Fire Formation Spell or Trap you control to the grave instead. You can only use each effect of the Brotherhood Man Panda once per turn. Absolutely insane. Activate a fire formation. Special summon this guy. Special summon another one from the grave. Wombo combos for days. I gotta sleep this guy up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mr. Panda himself. Oh. So there is your level 5. New Brotherhood of the Fire Fists. Panda. Okay. Crazy, you guys. Love the new set. Uh, boot up or gear charge. More support there. Archfiend's Awakening again. So interesting to see. Is it just three summon skull cards? I feel like there's got to be a couple cards in here. Uh, boot up Admiral. Destroy Dynamo. This is a gadget card. Okay, so they're actual gadget cards. I think I said in the beginning Gen X, uh, but definitely all gadgets. So it says here, cannot be normal summon slash set, must be special summon from your hand by sending two gadget monsters uh, from your hand or face up field to the grave. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects while you control a gadget monster or a gadget monster card equipped to a monster. Once per turn, you can target one other card on the field, destroy it. Wow. Straight up booyah with the machines right there. Alright, next pack here. Okay, we got the silver gadget. Spool code. Spool tokens. Interesting. Archfiend's manifestation is back. Okay. 
Let's see what else we can do here. Part of the cards guide us. We got the, uh, wow, Mythical Beast Master Cerberus is in here as a super. What? That is unexpected. The Snake, Dino Fists, Boot Up Order Gear Force. Wow. When either player monster declares an attack and all monsters you control are face up machines, minimum one. Destroy attack position monster opponent controls up to the number of machine monsters you control. Destroy attack position monsters. When Oh, this is cool. So it's when either player declares an attack and all monsters you control are face-up machines. I was going to say, why is this better than Mirror Force? Because <laughs> um, it's not. But it's when either player attacks. So you can use it to destroy your opponent's monsters when you attack. I don't know about the whole face-up attack thing, though. So, All right, you guys. Next pack here. Okay. Scrap cards are back. Scrap Recycler. Nice. Latency. Silvers. Brother of the Firefist Swan, our new fusion. Very nice. Uh, Swan says here it's two Beast Warrior monsters. 200 damage for each fire formation spell slash trap you control during the battle phase. Quick effect, send a face up fire formation spell slash trap to target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Swan. Very cool. Another way of gaining control on the field. All these new Firefist monsters. It looks like we're still missing a summon skull card. I feel like we have an effect monster we still need to get. I think that one will end up being the more valuable one. Awakening again. Uh, Rooster, by the way, as a super. Okay. Nice to see Rooster again. It's been a while. Uh, the Hidden City. So more sub terror cards in here. Supers. Very nice. Uh, Brother Firefist. Peacock. Nice. This is the girl on the box. Um... If I can show you the pack. Maybe she's on the pack. Yep. Very nice. So, Brother the Firefist Peacock. And when I was talking to Konami, he's like, I definitely like this card a lot. And um, this picture is very cool, too, because it kind of makes sense. It kind of like a sword that lashes out and strikes things and pulls them back in. So, here we have. Here we go. Two Firefist monsters. Link monster, Peacock. Uh, while this card points to a Firefist monster, your opponent's controls, monster's control. Uh, cannot target this card for attacks. When this card declares an attack, you can send one face up fire formation spell or trap to the grave. Target one monster your opponent controls. Place the opponent's monster in a zone that this card points to and take control of it until the end of the phase. But it cannot declare an attack this turn and you can only use this effect once per turn. Straight up take control of an opponent's monster, you guys. That is crazy. That is Peacock. So, I guess we'll see kind of what ends up being more of the valuable cards from the Firefist cards here. But again, it usually will have to do it with ratio. So, we'll see what Konami decides. Alright, sub terra final battle again. Dino Mist. Ingen again. Ingen right there being the polymerization. And the last two packs from the box. And then we'll go pretty quickly through the other couple boxes here. And see what else we can get. Swan. We're kind of starting to see some of the harder to pull cards. Archfiend's Call. Got a few of those now. Um, so let's speed it up, you guys. And we'll go a bit faster through these next couple boxes here. And remember, you guys, this is a giveaway video. Um, the final box we're opening, we will be giving away all cards inside. So if you guys want to get your own Fist of the Gadgets booster box, all that you guys have to do is give this video a thumbs up and then post in the comments below your favorites all foil sets or expansion set or as Konami has also told me deck builder set your favorite all foil set post in the comments below and these boxes you guys have gone through some thick and thin here transporting them all the way from Berlin from the world's tournament so we're gonna take them out here and let's speed it up let's see what we get inside Archfiend's call again you know I'm gonna set the secrets over here and see if that Mr. Dragon stops trying to take all the focus away from the video here. Alright, got the bird. Brother Firefist Ram again. Out of three boxes, I don't know if we can get a full set. Usually, the hard to pull cards for a expansion set is what, one in three boxes? So we'll see. Mythical Beast Cerberus again. You guys, that guy's crazy as a super. Did not see that coming. Okay. Snake is back. Uh, Panda again. Very nice. I 
feel like we still have not gotten a summon skull guy that's on the box. So I'm just going to throw that out there. Archfiend's Awakening. It's very nice to see these classic cards, though. And I guess, I mean, even Gadgets, you guys, is a classic deck to get support from here. And so here's the uh, boot up Admiral again. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could basically, this deck, I guess it's right in saying it's a deck builder set. You have three, four, five decks in here. It's a, what, we have a Cybers deck going on here. Cybers cards, Gadget cards. And then um, Draco Slayer cards or Worm cards. Oh, and Subterra and Fire Formation. Okay, let's keep it up. Uh, Fire Formation 10 key again. So, I'm interesting too, you guys. Post in the comments below some of the uh, different, I guess, decks or um, archetypes, deck cores you're excited to see in this set. And that's the Gear Force again. Because overall, again, classic cards is where it's at for me. But I think seeing the the, the Fire Fist cards is uh, something I'm excited for. But Summon Skull, just as a classic player, is really nice to see cards for. So, I mean, as we're going through this, I'm not really sure. Maybe these cards, these boxes, Konami printed didn't have any short print ratios because we're kind of just getting all the different cards. But I guess we'll find out when we get it what card is hard to pull. Fire Formation Ignan. Ingen. Ingen. Maybe it's Ingen, I think. I'm trying to use Ingen. Here's the battery again. Hello Gadget. Which means call. But I guess that could be the case, that there's no short print from these boxes. Um, it's interesting too, I believe these do have a bit of a darker printing to it. Um, so they are kind of like a European printing of the set. Something to note. Got the Talker. Archfiend's Manifestation again. Okay, here we go. But yes, thank you guys for supporting Simply Lucky Game Shop. We can do without you guys. And uh, for upcoming videos, you guys, we have the structure deck uh, coming up very soon for um, the Rockets Revolt. Uh, also, a preview product we got from Konami at Worlds. And next after that will probably be some Yugi Kaiba content along with uh, uh, probably a vlog. Oh, there we go. Archfiend's. Ascent. So here is the short print card, you guys. Oh, baby. Or I'm guessing it is. You know, we don't know. But, I mean, one out of two boxes, while everything else we've gotten about two of now. Um, this is the guy on the box as well. So let's let's go with short print of the set. Archfiend's Ascent. Here we go. Two level six monsters to make this guy. So you can just make him with two level sixes. Easy peasy. This card's name becomes Summon Skull on the field, but is still treated as an Archfiend card. Summon Skulls. If summon skulls you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach one material from this card instead. If this exceeds card you control is sent to the grave, special summon a summon skull from your hand deck or graveyard. Interesting. So if summon skulls you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, remove from this guy instead. Huh. I was expecting like a third effect there. I guess it could be too good if there was like a third effect. So we'll go ahead and sleeve this guy up though. Archfiend's Ascent. Very interesting. So pretty much just keep specialing summon skulls. And if you guys want to get a quicker or another look at that picture. Beautiful. Alright you guys. So a couple more packs here. I that might be the entire set. Um let's see. Peacock again. So it should be a 55, 60 card set, right? For a expansion set. All foil expansion set. Fire Formation 10 key. Um, but, let's do one more box opening here. It shouldn't take too long just to make sure. Let's see if we get any more cards. And this is the box we are giving away, you guys. So again, if you guys want to get your own booster box, by the Fist of the Gadgets, all you guys need to do is, uh, wow, this does not want to open. Um, 
All that you guys want to need to do is like this video and post in the comments below your favorite all foil expansion set. Okay. Let's see what happens, you guys. Part of the cards, guide us. First pack, here we go. Got the gadgets, Archfiend's Awakening. I'll set these ones to the side. Yellow Gadget. Brother of the Fire Fist Ram. So, of course, I'm guessing you definitely want to get your Fire Fist cards inside. Let's see if we can pull most of the secrets we've already seen. Or if there is any secrets we have not seen yet. That would be interesting. Very interesting. Archfiend's Manifestation. I like how they don't have Summon Skull in the name. They're calling it Archfiend's. Maybe it'd be too good. No, I don't know. I wonder why to not put the name Summon School in the title. Um, Elphase. Subterra cards are back again. Oh! Oh! Here we go! Short print card! <laughs> uh, the freaking Counter Trap? No way. Ultimate Fire Formation in Sinto. Um, interesting. I guess this card is extremely good. Um, I remember when he was doing the deck profile, I was like, wait, is that a counter trap for Fire, fire Fist? Uh, when a spell slash trap is activated, while well, you control a Fire Fist monster and a Fire Formation spell trap, negate the activation if you destroy the card. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, uh, that happened. So there you go, guys. That could be the short print card, and it looks like the giveaway winner is getting it. Ultimate Fire Formation Sinto. Very interesting. One out of three boxes. Archfiend's Ascent, one out of two so far. Fortress atop the landing peak. Wow. The trap, magic trap negator. Crazy that they gave Fire Fist pretty much everything it needs to be a powerful deck. It's very nice to see. Got the field spell. Oh! Code Radiator! Another card we have not seen yet. Man, this box is looking like fire. I'm just going to go ahead and give it an oh baby because I don't know. Code Radiator. Four star water cybers. 1600. If a cybers monster control will be used as a link material for a code talker monster, this card in your hand can be used as the material. Okay. If this card is sent from the hand or field to the grave as material for a link summon of a code dude, you can target a face that monster opponent controls, change its attack to zero, also negate its effects. Period. If this card on the field is used as material... You can target two monsters instead. Whoa! That's cool. Code Radiator. So, two more cards we haven't seen. By the way, that guy's picture um, is cool. I don't know if we can get it to focus on it there. Cool picture. Alright, we got the talker. Peacock. We're getting all the peacocks. Alright, next pack. Fire Formation 10 key is back. It looks like we're pushing through pretty quick here on this box. Defcon. Archfiend's Ascent. So it looks like we have now pulled that guy in two different boxes. And let's see what else we can get here. Three Rams in this box. Very interesting. He's over there. Okay. Next we have the snake and Ingen. Fire formation. Fist of the Gadget. Gadgets. Fire Fist Fury. Oh man. Oh man. This box seriously has two Sintos. I don't know anything anymore, guys. I don't know anything anymore. I have no idea what's a short print and what's not because we've officially gotten a scent in the next box. We've gotten two Cintos in one box. So either this is the best box ever or Cinto may or may not be a, sh a short print. I mean, it is a counter trap, so it does have powers. Ingen again. I just think these are some insane boxes. That's what I'm starting to think. Arshvin's Ascent again. Yeah, definitely not that guy. <laughs> this is crazy. 
Crazy. Is that another one? Oh my god! Three Sintos in one box. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. That's that's insanity. We know nothing. Konami has not provided us with any concrete information from these three boxes. Code Radiator, actually, is the one making it on top here. It looks like that is your short print. But we shall see. Dome. Nice. Alright, you guys. Last pack of Destiny. Give it to us. Kaiba! Just give us four of them. <laughs> that would be crazy. Alright, you guys. That was a crazy box at the end there. Getting three cards we haven't seen before. Same three cards. And then, of course, the Code Radiator. Overall, guys, let us know again what you guys think about F Fist of the Gadgets in the comments below. New set coming out in a couple weeks. Um, again, this is a giveaway video. If you guys want to get yourself a your own Fist of the Gadgets booster box, all that you guys have to do is give this video a thumbs up and post in the comments below your favorite super, um, well, I guess, all foil expansion set. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. And super unlucky signing out.